the sad demise of Ronaldo and Georgina's newborn son has shaken the world altogether. Cristiano Ronaldo, a professional soccer player, and his other half, Georgina Rodriguez, released a joint statement on Instagram on Monday announcing the loss of their newborn boy. The Manchester United star and Georgina were expecting twins, but sadly she revealed on social media that she had given birth to a girl while their boy died. Ronaldo and Rodriguez are also parents to four other children, Cristiano Jr. and Matteo, as well as Eva and Alana, their daughters. Georgina gave birth to her second set of twins on April 18, 2022. However, one of them passed away shortly after giving birth, causing the entire family to mourn. Though they hadn't revealed the cause of the child's death when making their statements, they did say that it is the worst pain a parent could possibly experience. They added that the surviving daughter has become a ray of hope and happiness in their lives and that she has helped them emotionally. The couple referred to their baby boy as an angel and stated that he would always be a part of their lives. Ronaldo and Rodriguez shared the news of their twin son's passing, where the couple said, It is with our deepest sadness that we have to announce that our baby boy has passed away. It is the greatest pain that any parent can feel, he continued. Only the birth of our daughter gives us the strength to live this moment with some hope and happiness. They also took the chance to express their gratitude to the doctors, nurses, and medical staff, saying, We want to thank the doctors and nurses for their care and support. We are devastated by this loss and request privacy at this difficult time. Baby, you are our angel. We will always love you." Ronaldo ended the statement, signing off with his and Georgina's names. We already know the father of four children, and while we know that Georgina is the mother of his youngest one, Alana Martina, the other two mothers of his children are anonymous. Cristiano Ronaldo was raised by an alcoholic father and a loving mother. He has worked extremely hard to be the perfect father to his adorable children. Despite the fact that Rodriguez and Ronaldo are not married, they have been dating since 2016. Rodriguez was working as a shop assistant at a Gucci store in Madrid when the two met. Rodriguez told AS that she was really anxious when she first saw the footballer, and now it's evident that she makes Ronaldo's heart spin faster than a Ronaldo chop. Ronaldo's rapid climb through the ranks of Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Juventus has seen him become one of the most prolific goal scorers of all time. Since the birth of his first son, Cristiano Jr. in 2010, he's also found time to raise a family. He was born in the United States to an unnamed mother and was immediately returned to Madrid by Dolores to begin his life with his father, who has full custody. Speaking to E! News about the arrangement, Ronaldo said, With the agreement of the mother who wishes to remain anonymous, I will have exclusive custody of my son. Cristiano Jr. has been a constant presence at his father's side, frequently collecting awards alongside his famous father and featuring in advertisements for his CR7 clothing business. He's also promising to have the same skills wowing fans on the pitch during a World Cup warm-up game. Ronaldo is for sure a proud father. Ronaldo also welcomed twins Eva and Mateo through an anonymous surrogate on June 8, 2017, just before Rodriguez gave birth to Alana in the United States. Given the high cost of surrogacy and the fact that Ronaldo, who was still a young guy, had a girlfriend at the time, the announcement surprised many. Cristiano Ronaldo will not share any reason as to why he chose a surrogate mother, he is simply grateful that he now has twins, a rep for the soccer star said in 2018. Then, less than a month later, Ronaldo revealed that his girlfriend Georgina Rodriguez was expecting their fourth child. It was in October that the couple announced they were having twins. Ronaldo announced this news with a selfie of himself lying in bed with Rodriguez holding up ultrasound images. Delighted to announce we are expecting twins, he captioned the photos. Our hearts are full of love. We can't wait to meet you. Hashtag blessed. The newborn's arrival would have brought Ronaldo's brood to six, with only one more needed to reach Ronaldo's target of seven. After the birth of his twins, Ronaldo told a newspaper that his son Cristiano is very happy. He's doing well, and he says he wants more brothers and sisters. He wants seven, the magic number, and I think that's good. Unfortunately, this time, only the girls survived birth. Georgina Rodriguez has her own Netflix documentary series, I Am Georgina, in which she stars. This documentary series about her personal life includes interviews with her family and friends, including Cristiano Ronaldo. In an interview with Ola to promote her Netflix reality series, the influencer also explained how the pair felt when they found out they were having twins. The family is growing. I am very happy and wish they were born, she told the magazine. We are so excited and anxious, with great desire and counting the days for them to be born. 
What a nice surprise I had when I found out I was pregnant. In December, the couple revealed that Rodriguez was pregnant with fraternal twins when Ronaldo shared a video of their gender reveal. The football star's four youngsters popped black balloons revealing pink and blue confetti in the video. The athlete captioned the video, where life begins and love never ends. Hashtag blessed. The footballer also toasted his family earlier this month with an Instagram post that showed him, Rodriguez, and his four children relaxing in the grass. In the caption he wrote, family is everything. The news of the baby's loss has caused an outpouring of sorrow throughout the footballing world as well as among friends and loved ones. With clubmate Marcus Rashford expressing his condolences by tweeting, Thoughts are with you and Georgina, brother. I'm so sorry. Pierce Morgan wrote, Heartbreaking news. My deepest condolences to you and all your family. The official Manchester United's Instagram account also shared a sympathy message with the team writing, Your pain is our pain. Sending love and strength to you and the family at this time. Liverpool, who faced United in the previous Premier League fixture at Afield, tweeted on the club's official account, All of us here at Liverpool FC send our deepest condolences to you, Georgina, and the family. Ronaldo's sister, Katia Avero, also took to social media with a message directed to her brother. Our little angel is already on daddy's lap, she wrote, referring to their father who died in September 2005. I love you and my heart is with you over there. May God take care of you and strengthen your path more and more. Due to the unfortunate incident, it was announced that Cristiano Ronaldo wouldn't be playing the Manchester United's Premier League match against Liverpool. He was given compassionate leave by Manchester United. Family is more important than anything, and Ronaldo is supporting his loved ones at this immensely difficult time, United said. As such, we can confirm that he will not feature in the match against Liverpool at Anfield on Tuesday evening, and we underline the family's request for privacy. As we previously stated, the death of the couple's son shocked the world. Despite the fact that Ronaldo was not present for the match at Anfield, the opposing fans showed their support with a noble gesture for an otherwise hated rival. Liverpool fans applauded for a full minute at the seven-minute mark of Liverpool's 4-0 victory over United, which matched Ronaldo's number seven shirt. After that, Liverpool fans sang their famous song You'll Never Walk Alone before United fans sang Viva Ronaldo. It was a remarkable show of unity between two supporters groups in the English Premier League who are typically fierce rivals, expressing their admiration for Ronaldo and his family. This was reported to be an idea of the Liverpool fans, which was accepted by both clubs. The teams also wore black armbands in honor of Ronaldo's lost child, an idea that was apparently of United's players and was mirrored by Liverpool's players. Seeing this, Ronaldo shared a video of the gesture in an Instagram post and wrote, One world, one sport, one global family. Thanks, Anfield. Me and my family will never forget this moment of respect and compassion. Speaking about the tribute after the match, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp said, My moment of the game was the seventh minute when the whole stadium showed pure class. So many things are much more important in life than football. We feel for Cristiano and his family. That was my moment of the game. The couple sought privacy in this matter, expressing their grief over the loss of their son. It was also really encouraging for everybody to watch Ronaldo cherishing his newborn baby and doing everything he could to be a wonderful father to her. Ronaldo shared on Instagram a picture with his family and the baby girl captioning, Gio and our baby girl are finally together with us. We want to thank everyone for all the kind words and gestures. Your support is very important and we all felt the love and respect that you have for our family. Now it's time to be grateful for the life that we've just welcomed into this world. Though the family is working through the heartache of losing their newborn child, they've always been able to lean on each other for support, and so we are confident that Ronaldo and his family will soon overcome this situation and live a happy life. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.